Nice. Man, panoramic sunroof. Beautiful. So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a 2021 Nissan Titan. Check this thing out guys. Like this thing is actually really nice. Like I like this color. The front end looks amazing. And this has pretty much all been refreshed for 2021. There's a slightly different engine with a little bit more power, nine speed transmission, and there's just a lot of other good features on this that I want to go over. But before we get started, let's take a look at the window sticker. All right, so here's the truck, it's a 2021 Nissan Titan. It's gonna be a Pro 4X crew cap. And everything I want to show you is gonna be all your standard equipment. So be sure to pause it if you'd like. And then it continues on this side here. So with all the standard equipment that you just saw, you had a base price of $50,290. Now there's basically three packages. You have the Pro 4X utility package, and then you have a convenience package too. Now this does have the panoramic moonroof for $1,490. And then mud flaps 285 within the illuminated kick plate at 350. Destination comes in at 1595 with a total price of $59,590. And Nissan still has that five year, 100,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. That is pretty impressive. And here's some of your feel economy numbers here. I'm not sure if you guys saw it on the window sticker, but this is a Baja Storm exterior paint. And this truck does have the black interior. I think this color with the black accents looks amazing. These headlights are going to be full LED. I'm going to turn them on for you in a second. But before we do that, let's pop the hood. So this is basically the same engine. They did add more power. This is going to be the 5.6 liter endurance V8. It's going to be good for 400 horsepower, 413 pound feet of torque. And this is the only engine option for the Nissan Titan. Now this V8 does have VVEL, which is variable valve event lift. Now what they normally do is they combine the hydraulic controlled VVT and then the electronically controlled variable valve lift on the intake side. That's basically going to help with overall performance and it's going to deliver really good response. So check out your low beam LED headlights here. And you have a projector style fog light too. Now this is going to be your high beam here. And they're still utilizing incandescent turn signals. Last but not least, this is your accent light for the LEDs. They look really nice. You do have parking sensors just below and you can check out your reddish orange tow hooks that's more of like an orange color kind of matches the nissan belt out here but they do give you a camera this has a 360 view camera i'll show that to you on the inside and you have a silver skid plate just below really nice design and i think this refresh should help it for the next you know two or three years when they plan to redesign it again now because this is a pro 4x you do have a little bit more beefier tire and you have the Billstein shocks and nissan does utilize a wishbone front suspension too now this wheel is going to be an 18 inch wrapped in 275 70 18. check out the side view they do have like a dark grayish fender flares and door handles and mirrors are black the mirrors do have turn signals on there there isn't any chrome but you do have like a machine um, look around the wheels and then pro 4x that pro part sticks out pretty bright on this paint but it doesn't look bad though now i do like these pro 4x mud flaps check those things out guys those things look really good so everything's pretty much the same back here with the exception of the tail lights tail lights are led and i like the overall design they look really nice now i will say there is a little bit of condensation build up right here and they do give you a bed step just below easy to kick it out parking sensors on that black rear bumper class 4 receiving hitch they do give you your four pin and your seven pin connectors and they do have an assisted tailgate 
I do like that they give you a spray and bed liner from the factory. I just don't know why they give this to you in a plastic because this is going to get torn up. I would say they would just go ahead and finish the whole thing. But nevertheless, they do give you some power back here. Now, these things may be a part of that package for the bed. And then you have your railing system here. And I don't really see any lights in here, too. So that may be a part of another package. So be sure to do some research if you are interested in buying this truck. And here is a better look at this paint. So in the sun, it's a lot lighter, but in the shade on this side, you can tell it's a little bit darker. I actually like it better like this. Inside the interior, they do give you leather seating. And then this piece right here is wrapped in like a vinyl leather. But Nissan is notorious for having hard plastics in their interiors. And unfortunately, it is right here. Now they do give you like a soft touch on this panel, but everything below is gonna be hard plastics. They give you cup holders in the door with storage, Fender audio, 12 speakers. And I like how flat this is too. Makes life a little bit easier getting in and out of the truck. Power seats on the driver's side. And just check out some of your other buttons while we're standing out here too. You have your headlights for your on and off, cargo lamp, and you do have a button to push for all your plugs inside this truck too. You can lock that rear axle, downhill assist. My favorite thing on Toyota and Nissan trucks is the fact that they give you a way to adjust the headlights inside the truck. I don't know why more manufacturers don't do that. That is such a simple thing to do. And if you're towing a trailer, when the truck does squat, the headlights go up. Good job Nissan and Toyota for doing this. Steering wheel is power. It is. It does go up and down, in and out. It's a little slow though, I'll be honest. And let's go ahead and hop inside. So this truck does not have any running boards, but it's still pretty easy. I mean, this truck sits a little bit lower than the XD. So that's a good thing. Now they do give you some memory seat controls. You have two settings there. And check out this beautiful interior. Like this looks so much better than the outgoing. And I think it's a little bit cleaner. It looks a little bit more classier too. Now they do have an eight inch display. Now this one that you're seeing is a nine inch. Eight inch is gonna be standard. And this is like high definition too. So let's go ahead and turn everything on. You have a seven inch display here. Pretty cool, right? And like I said, this nine inch is definitely a upgrade from the previous generation. Now the only thing I'll say, I did put it in reverse earlier today. I don't know why manufacturers, it's not just Nissan, they keep that old camera. It's just not high quality. And you have a nice screen, just update the camera too to make it look nice. But you do have 360 camera and nothing is touch on here. Now the nine inch display, as I mentioned, is high quality. You have a menu here, you push menu, and this takes you pretty much to your radio the station that you're on. Any previous destinations, you could just click here to go home if you have that already set up. You have audio, you can go straight to audio. It shows you all the different radio stations you can go to for XM or AM, FM. And you also have Bluetooth audio too. This does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can set up your phone through here too. It looks to be pretty easy. If you go to settings, and you go to connections. This does have vehicle hotspot, and it does show you uh, what USBs you have activated too. So just below here, you do have a type A and a type C. And let's just hit the arrow back. And you can just scroll like this too. You don't have to hit the arrow. Sometimes it's hard while you're driving to, to push those arrows. So this is just a better way to do it. Now, if you click the button here for cameras, they do have another camera mode here so like if you're going off road it looks like it'll show you like you know, like any type of rocks or something like that push it again it just goes off so they only really give you two areas for cameras I would like to see maybe more uh, features on this just because I feel like there's cameras all around this thing it'd be nice to give you some more uh, angles of things all right, so we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. So this shows you your speed, and I don't know if you guys can see, you can see it says limit. It does show you the limit displayed in your seven inch display. 
and shows you some off-road like your angles and where the power is going with your full drive of 4x2 auxiliary gauges more auxiliary gauges driving so it shows you how many miles time and then the MPG fuel economy average shows you the radio station you're on and a compass and as I said that show you the traffic sign for the speed limit driving aids blind spot forward collision lane keep all that good stuff tire pressures and then takes you back to your settings so there's a few things I'll go over with you real quickly so you do have towing settings and vehicle settings so let's just click this real quickly now how I'm doing this too you do have this toggle it goes up and down and you push it to go into a screen and then you have arrows right here that you push to go between everything it's pretty easy to use um, oh, I'm sorry so I, as I was saying like you have trailer light check I love that they do that and for vehicle settings you have for your lighting turn in indicators uh, locking wipers all that good stuff you can set up through this system here and I like the gauges they're very clean it looks like they really did a good job like just setting everything up your audio navigation and phone setup is all through this screen however they do give you your climate control outside of the screen and I'm okay with that I still like to have buttons for this because it's a lot to go through your screen to set up your climate in my opinion this is gonna be for your traction control parking sensors it's gonna be for your caution lights now this is gonna be for your blind spot it gives you a chime when you're on the road heated steering wheel and you do have your full wheel drive system and trailer brake controller just below I already showed you the USBs you have heated and ventilated seats and they're still using the same type of dials for that too now as far as this goes you do have ways to set this up however you like this all comes out and you have plenty of storage down here but um, I probably would keep these things in here just so you could have a place to put your phone and we all love to have a couple of them, right? But they do give you like a black accent around them. Makes it look a little bit nicer. But all of this is hard plastic. And they give you some storage on the side. Leather wrap center console. And orange stitching matches the outside. I like that. They did a good job doing that. And you have a big center console. Like I said, everything is pretty much removable to give you more storage. Up top, they do give you a place where you can slide that rear glass. I'll go over the panoramic sunroof with you in a second, but LED lights, and they do give you a switch here to turn all the lights on at once, or you can just turn them off. Place to store your sunglasses. They do not give you any storage up here, however, but you can slide this sunscreen back for this panoramic sunroof. I mean, who doesn't like a panoramic sunroof? And if you push this button, this will slide. Let's see how far back it goes. So it does open a good bit, guys. And out back, they do give you the stitching on the seats. And overall, really nice interior. 60-40 uh, bench. And as far as storage goes, they do give you storage just below the seat here. Surrounded by hard plastic. I don't really care for this type of storage only because this stuff gets scratched up really easy. But they do give you a tray that you can flip out like this. That way you can have a flat floor surface. Like if you have a dog in here, they can lay on that side a little bit more comfortably. But all in all, heated seats back here. They give you two type A USBs, 12 volt plug, and they give you an actual plug back here too. And not bad in terms of overall uh, comfort too. Like I can get in and out of this thing pretty easily. This seat's all the way back. And I mean, I'm six, about six foot, six one. And storage, the lower. And who can deny having that panoramic sunroof? Like your rear occupants will thank you for getting this option. All right, so we're gonna take this bad boy for a ride. And one thing I've said in the past, and it's the same thing today the steering in the Nissan Titan is very 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 heavy 
And I think for some people, they might find that a good thing because I feel like you do have more control. But then I feel like it's a bad thing too because it's at lower speeds. Now, of course, at higher speeds, it stays pretty tight. Now, this is gonna be like a rack and pinion too, so it's not electronic power steering, which is probably why it's so heavy. But I mean, overall, I like that. I like that it's a heavy steering. And I just think that overall with these tires, with this Philistine shock setup, this truck is pretty comfortable. I'm gonna take it on the highway. We'll do like a light MPG run today, just a light one. I'm gonna reset this here. And then, like I said, I'll kind of start following the fuel mileage. All right, so we're gonna hop on the interstate. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the fuel mileage here, just to kind of get an idea. Normally when you're rolling at a constant speed and you're not idling, the fuel mileage is pretty accurate, but if you start idling and driving in a city a lot, I feel like it does get off like two or three MPG. But um, the nine speed transmission, it does shift perfectly. You can't even feel that it's shifting, I like that. They give you the courtesy signal, so it'll, you just tap it down a little bit. It just clicks three times and that's it. Mirrors are really good too. I like that they give you a convex on both sides. That will come in handy when you're towing a trailer too. So that's something that I, I like that Nissan does. Overall, man, the road noise isn't bad from these a little bit more aggressive tires. Truck is comfortable. And I think this nine speed was a really good option to bring to 2021. I mean, there was nothing wrong with that seven speed, but I think this is just a better transmission just out of the gate. It's very smooth. You can't feel it shift at all. And I think like once I have a chance to do some towing videos, that should give us a better idea of how well it holds the gears too. I mean, you have tow haul mode right here. But I think that Nissan just needs to kind of bring it a little bit more to their trucks to get people more interested. Like everyone's used to buying Ford Ram Chevy trucks. I mean, that's just what people do. And if you're gonna compete in the segment, you gotta bring it. Just like with Toyota, like they're strong in the car segment. But when it comes down to trucks, I mean, I think Ford and Chevy and Ram just have it down to a science now. And if you're gonna compete in the segment, you gotta bring it. All right, so I pretty much drove almost 10 miles. I think that if I were to continue on the trip, I could probably get close to 18 to 20 in that ballpark with this truck. I'm at 17.6 right now, but I'm gonna do an acceleration. So like I said, that should give you a good idea. I figure you'll get about that. So let's go ahead and let me slow down. I think there's a speed trap up here. Yep, sure is. All right, here we go. So I'm doing 50 right now. I'm gonna hit. Yeah, this truck has really good acceleration, guys. Really good. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to be on the lookout. Whenever I find a used 2021, I will be more than happy to test out the new transmission and the new numbers for performance, see how well it does. See you in the next video.